in the accomplishment of these goals, he would say, if only I could accomplish this, then I would be happy. If only I could do this, I would be happy. And essentially what he was doing is he was pushing happiness beyond the cognitive horizon. Hello, many of you know me. I've been an instructor in your leadership classes or various courses that I teach. For those of you who don't know me, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Dave Burkhart. I have a master's in organizational psychology and have been a practitioner in this field for 35 years. And I continue to work in that arena in addition to being a researcher in the era, area of neuroscience. And I found it very interesting lately. Um, I'm working a lot with entrepreneurs now and solopreneurs. Um, but I, historically, I have worked with executive staff in Fortune 500 companies, CEOs, owners of businesses. And I'm continually running into this common thread that the many of them that I work with are fundamentally unhappy, fundamentally unfulfilled. And yet in the eyes of the public, many of them would think, wow, you know, they've got it, they've got it all. You know, they got the big house, they got an expensive car, they've got you know, families, they, they go on vacations in very exotic places. Um, they have money. They, they must be, they must be just incredibly happy. And the truth is they're not, you see, they've, they have an addiction. They have an addiction problem. And what it is, is they're addicted to accomplishment. Might it be that they get a rush of endorphins in the brain, a dopamine shot? But they strive. They strive to be better. And that's not a bad thing. But they are emphasizing areas of their life of being better in the wrong space. Now, let me explain. So... I was working with, uh, I won't say he's an entrepreneur, but he is the CEO of a very large company, Fortune 500. And we've had ongoing conversations. Um, I told him, hey, look, you know, if you ever need to, give me a call. And I got a call and he says, I'm getting tired. And I'm like, get some sleep. <laughs> no, you don't understand. I'm. I'm getting really tired. I, you know, I had this goal and I accomplished it. You know, I became CEO of the company that I worked for, for 15 years. And then I had this goal of bringing the company to a new level. Uh, and, and I accomplished that. All these things that I've accomplished, you know, buying the home and, and, taking the family on vacation and doing these different things I thought would bring me happiness, but it was the happiness that I experienced was only temporary. That was probably more true of the accomplishments within the business rather than the experiences with his family. I think he recognized that too. And every time he accomplished a goal, he set another one. Well, of course, right? Naturally. The problem was, is that in the accomplishment of these goals, he would say, if only I could accomplish this, then I would be happy. If only I could do this, I would be happy. And essentially what he was doing is he was pushing happiness beyond the cognitive horizon. It was always just out of reach. 
even when he had all these great accomplishments behind him, he still felt unfulfilled. We have to be able to recognize the times in our lives where we were most happy, when we felt most fulfilled, and pursue those regardless of the financial rewards. Look, there's nothing wrong with making a living. But I think we've outgrown what we believe we need to be happy in life. If only I had that mansion, I'd be happy. <laughs> Some of us could be, if only I could get into a house, I'd be happy. But more money, more problems. And I've heard this countless times among very successful people, entrepreneurs, CEOs, so many different people, because they're chasing the elusive butterfly of fulfillment. We really don't need a lot to be happy. And I found this out. Uh, I was doing a maquiladora, well, opening a U.S. business down in Mexico, in Ote Mesa. And I went through Tijuana, which is kind of a roundabout way of getting to Ote Mesa, but, you know, navigation was not so good. And I drove through a neighborhood on my way to the plant where I was going to be helping them develop their processes. And I saw kids out in the street. They had a, a ball and they were kicking it around and they were laughing. They were having the time of their lives. The, one of them would kick a goal and their teammates would come up and give them a hug and high five. And I thought, here are children who are poorer than poor. And yet they're happy. So where do we get it in our mind that more money will bring more happiness or any kind of happiness? Look, we do need to make money to live. I don't deny that. That's a reality. But I think oftentimes we believe the more money we make, the happier and more fulfilled we'll be. And that's where we make the mistake. We have to take a, a moment, take a hard, long look at our life and ask ourselves, like the previous episode where I said, what do you want? If the answer to that question is happiness and fulfillment, don't expect it to look like the way social media makes it look, or like TV makes it look, or like advertising makes it look. Those are manipulations. The reality is, is to look inward and find within yourself what truly makes you happy and never feel regretful or bad about pursuing that which will bring you real lasting happiness. Not 100% of the time. Nobody is happy 100% of the time unless there are some kind of issues in the brain, which that would be a good issue to have, I suppose. But you really need to focus in on when were the times in your life that you felt happiest and why? Really look into that. Why was I happy then? What was going on? What was I doing to feel that way? When was the last time I felt really fulfilled? I felt good about what I was doing. I felt good about my life. Think about that. Think long and hard about that because your future really depends on you answering those questions. And everybody's unique. What makes one person happy is not going to make another person happy. You have to find it within you. And then take the time to create how you can how you can expand that, how you can bring it into the world for yourself and for others. That's truly powerful.
And that's success, happiness, and fulfillment. It sounds simple, but someone once told me, never confuse simple with easy. Things that are simple can be very hard to accomplish. But if we persevere and we keep our eye on that destination, we'll get there. Be an optimist, believe it, and make it happen. And until next week, as always, lead well, my friend.